Assalamualaikum and uh, how are you today? So um, we are going to proceed with our uh, with our next topic. So the topic is about PWM. Okay, uh, this is one example of another Arduino basic programming. Okay, so far uh, previously you have learned on the input output ports. Okay, uh, the other uh, new peripheral that is important for you to uh, develop your robot or your mobile robot is the PWM module. So this PWM module, it is can be accessed from the Arduino Uno port uh, that is specialized for the PWM function. So the ports are ports number 3, 5, 6, 9, 10 and 11. So, if you look into your Arduino board, you can see there is a curly symbol at certain number. So, uh, the curly means that this pin, uh, it can be used as the PWM pin. So, we have 6 pins. We have 3, 5, 6, 9, 10 and 11. Okay, so when you find a curly symbol at the number, it means that this pin is also dedicated for PWE uh, is also dedicated for PWM pin. Okay, so only uh, 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11 pin can be used as PWM pins on Arduino Uno board. But the question is, can it still be used as normal digital pin? Okay, if let's say uh, you are not going to use that pin for PWM, but can you still use that pin as the normal digital pin? The answer is yes, you can still use it as a normal pin. So what is the purpose of PWM? So PWM is a technique used to generate analog output signal using the digital signals. Okay, uh, it is commonly used to control the average power delivered to a load Okay, for example, like LED, you want to dim the LED light so you can use uh, PWM. Okay, second is to control the speed of your motor. Then, to generate analog voltage levels for generating analog waveforms. Okay, in this example, uh, the PWM is used as the idealized inductor driven by a voltage source which is the blue line okay this voltage source is modulated as a series of pulses okay, you can see few pulses here to generate uh, a sine like current waveform which is represented by the red line okay so if you can see here the switching frequencies okay is different you have a frequency 1 frequency 2 and frequency 3 so what does the switching frequency means so the purpose of having uh, the switching frequency because it will determine uh, the smoothness of the generated sign like current waveform in this example okay so in another words the frequency determines how fast the PWM completes as a cycle okay for example, let's say if the signal is running through 100 hertz, it means that it would be have 100 cycles per second. Okay, that is a, uh, one example. Or in another word, it shows how fast the PWM switches from the uh, high states to the low, to the low states. Okay, and that is another meaning of frequency okay so the frequency uh, is used uh, to monitor the switching activity between high state and low state in one cycle okay in one complete cycle okay now we look into the important element in PWM which is the duty cycle so before we go uh, further into the, uh, into the duty cycle we look uh, we look first into the characteristic of the square waveform. 
okay so in the signal we have an amplitude which is which is the voltage level of the signal so in this uh, example the voltage level of this signal is currently at 5 volt okay and then the second element is period so period uh, is called as the time it takes for a signal to complete uh, an end and off cycle so this is on and this is off cycle so period uh, it is time uh, it takes to complete uh, an on and off cycle so this is a period okay then what is duty cycle so we know that uh, I just mentioned to you about the period so the duty cycle is this described as the amount of the time signal which is in high state or on period as a percentage of the total time of it takes to complete one cycle or to complete one period okay or in another word it is actually a fraction of one period in the signal so the one period meaning that the on period in a one signal or you can say it also a ratio of the high period okay this is a high period to the total period of a pulse wave or of a signal one signal okay so this is one cycle of a signal or we call it as a one cycle or one period so one cycle is defined as the single change from up okay to down and to up again so this is one cycle so in this one period uh, it actually has the period during on and also a period during off okay so the duty cycles only take the period during on so this period is actually uh, period on plus period off which you can use this period to determine the frequency of this signal so the frequency of the signal is 1 over period or 1 over uh, period during on plus period during off so from that slide how are we going to determine the duty cycle so to determine the duty cycle first we must look into the period of the on state okay because the duty cycle only take period during on state okay then uh, we have to look for the one cycle period okay uh, recall so the one cycle period uh, it has on period and also off period okay in this example let's say uh, the on period is 50 millisecond and then and then the off period is also 50 millisecond so what is the duty cycle for this example so the duty cycle for this example is period during on divide by one cycle period okay and then you times with 100 because duty cycle is represented by the percentage so for this case you get a 50 percent of duty cycle okay and it is logic because uh, you can see uh, the pulse width of the on period is similar to the pulse width of the off period okay and therefore the duty cycle is 50 percent okay this is another example of duty cycle okay for the first signal you can see that the on state is very short okay meaning that uh, the off period is greater than the on period okay for example let's say the duty cycle is 10 percent and then the second duty cycle which the on period is equals to the off period and therefore you are going to have a, a similar shape of on and off period okay or similar uh, duration of on and off period but what if the on period is greater than the off period so you're going to have a greater duty cycle for example in this case the duty cycle is 90 percent so meaning that 90 percent of these signals is in on state okay only 10 percent in off state uh, off period right so now 
we know that the PWM signal is used to generate a square waveform. Okay. However, there are several ways to generate this waveform uh, or fast changing signals from a microcontroller. Uh, the simplest method that you can use is the software delay loops. So what is software delay loops? So software delay loops, okay, for example, in your coding, okay, in the void loop function, you put the PWM pin in high for certain delay, okay, and then after the delay has completed, uh, you turn down this uh, pin into low state and then you give another delay okay so uh, from this code you can get a square waveform okay you put uh, the pin in high uh, for certain delay and then you turn it low for certain delay okay with this method or uh, we call it as a software delay loops you still can get a pwm signal okay or you can still get a square wave by using this PWM signal right so now uh, I'm explaining you how to generate the square waveform by using this technique so let's say a sequence of two delay loops having a same time duration produces a square wave signal with about 50% duty cycle so recall please recall so for 50% duty cycle it means that the on period is equals to the off period okay so you are going to have this uh, coding in your arduino where you are going to have a same delay for high state and also the same delay for low state okay so from this delay uh, which the delay during on state is equal to the delay of state you are going to get a signal with a 50% duty cycle okay this is delay 1 and this is delay 2 so uh, you also can uh, determine the frequency of the signal by uh, 1 over delay 1 plus delay 2 right or 1 over the period of this signal the total period of the signal okay the delay time uh, may can be changed to produce smaller duty cycle and the frequency can remain fixed okay by using the same frequency you actually can uh, vary its duty cycle for example in this case uh, you have a arduino code here then you put your pin high with a delay of 500 or half uh, half second and then you are uh, after half second is completed then you turn the pin to low state which uh, you you put a higher uh, delay which is a uh, 1.5 second okay from here you can see the delay on is smaller than the delay off okay so the signal that you will produce is this kind of signal okay you have a shorter duty cycle here or you have a shorter on period okay uh, so in this case the cycle is less than 50% okay but however the timing precision or the software delay loops uh, technique is not as accurate and difficult to control okay and then a much better way is to implement the built-in PWM module in the Arduino Uno so meaning that by using the software delay loops, you are going to have uh, not so precise uh, square waveform to be generated. Okay, but you also uh, it is advisable for you to use uh, the built-in PWM pin, which is pin 3, 5, 6, uh, 9, 10, 11 on the Arduino Uno to produce this square waveform. Okay, so in the next topic, I'm going to teach you how to generate this square waveform by using the PWM. PWM pin on the Arduino. So, uh, as I explained to you earlier, the Arduino Uno contains six PWM pins, okay, which could be programmed to produce the square wave. So, this uh, square wave can be generated from pin, uh, from pin 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, and 11. Okay, you can see the curly uh, symbol here. It means that this pin is dedicated for PWM signal. Okay, 
from this pin you can generate a square waveform okay which is more precise and more accurate than the software delay loops techniques all right okay so the own state also called as a password right so how to program uh, the pwm on arduino uno okay so this is the programming syntax that you can use uh, you can use the analog write pin pin meaning that the pin number of the pwm okay you can select which pin that you want to use you can select from 3 5 6 9 10 and 11 and then you need to put the pmw uh, pwm value okay so what does the function do uh, the function will write an analog value which is the pmw uh, pwm value to a pin okay and then in arduino uno the frequency of the pwm is approximately 500 hertz okay uh, regardless how many uh, duty cycle that you are going to change in your PWM value but the output frequencies are fixed to 500 Hertz okay for Arduino Uno right okay so the value the PM uh, the PWM value that can use you can choose between 0 to 255 which is the 8 bit uh, which uh, PWM use 8 bit uh, data here okay for example you can uh, write your syntax like this and I'll write pin 3 and then you supply the PMW of 110 to your system okay so uh, we know how to write the code right now okay we have the syntax but the, uh, the next question is how are you going to determine the value of that PMW uh, PWM okay because we, are, we need that value in our coding okay so please recall the duty cycle is equal to on period divided by period of that signal or total period of that signal times with 100 then you will get your duty cycle for digital output the output is either 0 or 1 right this is equivalent to voltage level which you can get 0 to 5 volt okay how i uh, however the pmw value the pwm value which is uh, in 8 bit decimal value it can be either 0 255 or in between this value okay so meaning that it can be varied the value okay you can have 50 you can have 100 150 okay until 255 so when this value can be varied at that particular pin okay it means that the voltage level can also be varied okay so let me explain you in detail it means that Okay, let's say we have a PWM value and voltage level. If, okay, the PMW value at this level, okay, so the voltage level will be also at this level, right? So when you put your PWM value at this level, so the voltage uh, level will be varied at this level as well, okay? It will move from this level to this level and so on. Okay, so meaning that when you vary the value of the PWM value, the voltage output of that pin is also varied. Okay, it's also changed. So the change of the PWM value resulting the change of the voltage output at that PWM pin. Okay, remember this. This is very important, right? So now we go back to that question how to determine the pm uh, the pwm value in arduino uno okay you have to use this formula so the pwm value is equals to duty cycle divided by 100 and you times with 255 which is equals to uh, time during on divided by the total period of that signal times with 255 and also the V out okay at that pin divided by Vs times with 255. Okay. 
So for example, please write an Arduino code to run the motor using PWM signal with the output voltage of 3.5 volt at digital pin 5. Okay, when it says at digital pin 5, you directly know that this pin can be used for PWM signal. Okay, so the solution here is to determine the PWM value, we have to look into that question. What kind of information that has been provided for you? Okay, for example, in this example, there are two information that has been uh, provided for you. The first one is the V out. Okay, the V out of the pin. Uh, what pin? Pin number five. Okay, so uh, we have three kind of formula that can be used to determine this PWM value. So you can use either one that is related to the information given. So, as we as you can see, because you have the V out uh, value here, so you can use this function. PWM value is equal to V out divided by V S times with two five five. So what is V S? So V S is actually the voltage source from the Arduino, which is five volt. Okay. So you can uh, calculate it, the PWM value. 3.5 divided by 5, you times with 255, and then you will get 178.5. And then you round it to the to the nearest value, which is 179. Okay. So we already have the value of PWM 179, and then the digital pin used is 5, which is the PWM pin. So now the next step is how to write the Arduino code for this PWM value. Okay. So in your code, you have a void setup and void loop. So remember, in void setup, you need to declare pin number 5. Okay? So you declare the pin 5 as the output. Okay? Even though it is using for PWM, but you still have to declare it as the output of your uh, Arduino system. Then, in your void loop, you can call the analog write, which we have discussed before this, the programming syntax for PWM. Okay, and then you put the number of pin, which is 5, and then you put the number of the PWM value. So, meaning that you write the PWM value at the digital pin 5 pin. Okay, it is simple, just a simple syntax. Okay, so we have uh, coming to the end of the topic for today. So, I hope you get a clear picture of what is PWM. Okay, you can search and you can do some research on the internet. Okay, you can try to Google it. Uh, you can find another uh, uh, additional notes on this PWM topic and hopefully uh, that will help you to understand this topic better. Okay, so uh, after this, uh, in our next class uh, or our next session, I'm going to teach you how to uh, run the PWM code in the Arduino and we will see the outcome of that code. Okay, thank you very much. See you again.